my super instant mesmerizer. It never fails. Okay, boys, carry him out. But at the same time, in this old building, which doubles as a warehouse and the secret hideout for the Mad Hatter and his slippery stooges, of the conniving jury that convicted me will at last be properly topped. How whimsical, Jervis. Thank you, Lisa. It's a pleasure to share my moments of triumph with you. I'm supposed to be on my coffee break. At least that's what I told Madame Magda. Madame Magda. Little does she know she's to be my next victim. Oh, how merry, Jervis. Before we get to the next victim, when do we get to the next meal? Getting bonnets for these dummies ain't filling our stomachs, boss. Or our wallets. Our wallets will be filled, boys. As soon as I have completed the most fantastic hat snatch of my glorious career. Batman's cowl? Precisely. Jervis, that's positively waggish. Waggish, maybe. But taking on Batman's a big order, boss. The biggest. Not only will I add his cowl to my unique collection... But I will have exposed our monstrous enemy once and for all before he meets his gory end. You rogue. Many others have tried killing Batman. Many others do not have the lethal equipment of my hat factory. I swore vengeance when he testified against me, and I'll get it. I'll get it. Of course you will, darling. Well, why don't we get our bread? I heard that, Cappy. And why do you think I snatched the owner of each hat the way I did? The jury is still out. Regardez-vous. What an antique idea. We'll reach a verdict soon. Two more jurors and I ask the biggest ransom Gotham City's ever heard of. All of this country's president's hats currently on loan to the Gastonian Institution. President's hats? Yes, Washington's, Jefferson's, Lincoln's, Grant's worth millions. You're a genius, Jervis. And all topped by Batman's cowl. Oh, don't worry, boys. It'll be top hat and tails from now on. It may be tougher than you think, trapping the Batman in this hideout without getting the cops involved. Oh, <laughs> I've thought of that too, Cappy. That's why I picked another spot. That's where you and uh, Madame Magda come in, Lisa. And here's where I leave. I can't be late for work, Jervis. After all, I don't want to jeopardize my job with the millinery shop. Don't worry, my dear. It'll all be so simple. <laughs> So very simple. Bonjour, Octave Marble. Oh, mon ami Batman and the boy wonder. To what do I owe the honor of this visit? You have come perhaps for your next sitting. There's no time for posing today, Monsieur Marble. We're here in a matter of grave urgency. We, oui, but of course. What can I do to help you? Do you know a man named Jervis Tetch, better known as the Mad Hatter? Jervis Tetch. Jervis Tetch. No. He's presently victimizing Gotham City. The Mad Hatter. And somehow he dropped this card when he made his last catch. Sacre bleu, no count. I do not know where he could have gotten it. I don't know the Mad Hatter. I am Octave Marbo, a simple sculptor. Faster, Marbo, faster. But the cement must be chipped very carefully if you want the mold of the Batman's cowl. Oh, you can take it apart in sections and, and glue it back together again to form the mold. I will not disfigure my friend the Batman. Oh, Batman, Batman. He couldn't possibly be alive inside that plaster shroud. Hey, boss. That means he won't be needing that Batmobile no more. Good thinking. You'll make an excellent getaway car. Go warm it up. Oh, mon vieux, regardez qu'est-ce que vous faites, le pauvre bonhomme. Il faut avoir de la patience, voyons. Who let you out of the jug, Tetch? 
And what do you do with my hat? Actually, it'll get lost. Just repaying old debts, Mr. Bowinkle. It took a unanimous vote of that jury to send me up the river. Yeah, well, I'm casting another ballot right now. <laughs> Usually carry a homing bat transmitter in your bowler, Mr. Bowinkle. I don't know how to think out in there. I think I do. And I think Batman will end up in my hat factory after all. What's Batman got to do with it? So the Mad Hatter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Imagine shearing Batman like a rabbit. Or stretching him into any form I wish. Or shrinking him and sizing him. Why, uh, I'll make him into a sunbonnet. Or a ten-gallon hat or a fez. A fez. Yes, a fez. I'll dye him red. I'll buy myself a camel and go riding off into the desert. Wearing a tribal chieftain's flowing robes and Batman on my head. His foot is right. What are you mumbling about, Cappy? My idle flights of fancy, my little daydreams, they're nothing more than that, believe me. I'm a very practical man. I already have my 12 juros hats and my 12 juros. All I need now is Batman's cowl and the caped crusader out of the way and my job will be complete. Yeah, but when do we eat? When I'm paid my fabulous ransom. Imagine vu owning the Gothonian Institution's priceless collection of presidential headgear. <gasps> <Oof>. <laughs> We meet again, dynamic duo, but I fear for the last time. Your little game of hide-and-seek is over. Very clever, Mr. Tetch. Oh, you were the clever one. I might not have been able to lure you here without your homing bat transmitter in Mr. Bowinkle's hat. Holy bowler! <laughs>